SMT Nation, thanks for tuning into the channel. We've got an update for you guys here on C-Band and the ongoing FAA C-Band interference saga. All right, so just to follow up on some things that have been going on in the industry, it's good to know what is happening, the expectations that solutions are, are probably in development, and uh, we should see resolution. But this update is kind of important because it gives you the most recent information. So we got that for you today with this video. Like and share if you want to help out the channel and help others stay in the know. All right, so to get things started here, airlines brace for flight restrictions and 5G standoff. Obviously, the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration, representing the aviation industry uh, with aircraft operators, altimeters, potential interference with 5G and C-band specifically. And then you have the wireless mobile network operators like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, which are going to operate these frequencies. This does impact consumers. All right, so the deal here is this. The FAA claims there will be flight limitations, disruptions, diversions, and a potential for modifications to scheduling if their requests are not met. All right, so there currently are two proposals that have gone to U.S. regulators, the first being a proposal from the telco industry, AT&T and Verizon, namely. The second being from the aviation industry, so that would be the FAA representation. So with the telco, you know, with the carriers, they're saying there is no risk of interference that they can credibly find. They cannot produce it under normal conditions. They are obviously discrediting the info that the FAA is pushing or their narrative and what they claim to be absolutely fear-mongering. And the second part here is the aviation industry and the FAA, the possible risk of interference, along with the attempt to, you know, affect land takeoff you know processes difficult weather conditions with winds visibility issues they claim that diversions are probably going to happen this is going to cost extra money time fuel scheduling all of that so these issues continue to be pushed here by those uh by those entities including the faa and then of course the fcc needs to make a decision in hearing these sides to the story as they're presented Obviously, the FCC is the regulating body here, and they're really only looking for solutions, and they've done a pretty good job publicly of indicating such. So they want to see a world where both you know, parties can coexist, where carriers can deploy their tens of billions of dollars spent on the spectrum. They can capitalize on those assets. And then you have the FAA and the aviation industry still landing, flying their planes, using their autopilot and altimeters without issues. So look for signal strength limitations, possibly the power you know, from the antennas, specific directional types of broadcasting limitations. What they call buffer zones are likely going to be instituted. You know, um, they're probably going to have to address specific aircrafts, I think, in this situation, which updated altimeters do not have any issues, which ones could potentially have issues. That's going to need an analysis why it's being analyzed now i have no idea this should have been done a couple of years ago probably uh, so my takeaway here for this one guys and gals is that again this continues to be a charade a last ditch effort last minute effort to prolong the inevitable i obviously see it as a political soap opera at this point and the faa is the lead of the play pushing an unproven narrative an unfounded narrative with either just complete failure to prepare for such scenarios or it's just wolf tickets and they're just trying to look for a handout to have certain types of equipment upgraded on government or carriers tabs. Anticipate a January 5th launch, in my opinion, whatever restrictions might be in place to make them feel better about it. But uh, I expect all this to work out in the favor of the carriers. Your thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Subscribe for more content from the SMT. Turn on the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, uh, check us out on the Patreon page. You could support us, get early access to videos and other types of content and discounts on Los Mobile. And then my Twitter handle and email address is in the description box. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all on the next video. Peace.